How's it going everyone? Thanks for tuning in again to this last video of the build series and in today's video we're going to be wiring the switches. This one here is the channel switch from clean to crunch and this, this one here is a bright switch I guess you can call it which switches the cathode capacitors of a couple of the preamp stages from a 25 UF electrolytic capacitor which is probably more suitable to the clean channel and a 0.1 UF film capacitor which is suitable for the crunch channel and it also switches in a bright cap over the crunch potentiometer. Uh, also we'll be wiring the potentiometers here and again if you haven't already done so go to the website and download the full plans pack for this and then you can go through the circuit and follow up exactly what's going on in the videos and let's get on with the video just before we go to the next stage just want to do one modification and that's we'll move this cable here which goes from the ohm selector switch to the output jack we just want to move that cable up here and away from the filament windings and thanks to George for that suggestion. Let's move on to the switch here and it, it, it is a triple pole double throw switch and it's going to be quite busy and I've temporarily attached it to the chassis and that's just so I can get the correct lengths for the cable. I've mounted my triple pole double throw switch onto an old chassis and this is going to make it a lot easier to solder on the wires than if it was in the, the actual amp chassis itself. We can now transfer that switch onto our amp chassis. At this stage it's a very good idea to check the continuity of all these switch points. We'll get to work on the channel switch. The first thing I do with the switch is that I bend these end terminals away from each other. I then cut out two small cables, around about 60 millimeters long, and I terminate them at both ends and I make a small S bend in one end. I can just pop that in and run it around. With 
those cables in place and everything tinned, I'll solder the right hand terminals of the switch. I've got myself a couple of inches of 23 AWG solid copper wire here and I'm just going to wrap it around the shielding. And I'll just recheck the positioning because we need to bear in mind that once you solder that patch you're not going to be able to bend it. Just before I put the switch inside the chassis, I mount it on the outside of the chassis and that's just to give me some room so that I can wire up the input jack which I install upside down. Run this earth cable through the lug like that and just around the back and I'll leave a good, a good inch in the front just to connect to the earth turret. Now we've got a real busy situation here where we have five things that need to be joined to this earth turret and they are the three shields from the uh, shielded cable and we've got the one meg resistor that goes to earth and we've also got the input jack earth that comes through here and you can do this in a number of ways, you can twist these all together if you want but I prefer to do these all individually and it's just if you need to do surgery on the amp and you need to take things apart it makes it a lot easier if, if things aren't twisted together We can finally move on to the potentiometers. For the final resistor and capacitor that make up part of the bright switch, I've just put them together in that configuration and that allows me to sit it on the board fairly neatly like that.
we can just finish off now by soldering any turrets that haven't yet been soldered remember to insert the 6.3 volt bulb now that everything's done it's a good idea to go through each joint and make sure everything is sound and correct and grab your layout diagram and the schematic and trace through both of them just to make sure that everything is correct all right let's pop in some tubes Let's plug in the speaker and make sure that the ohm selector switch is, is switched to the correct resistance. Um, this is looking pretty good. There's no smoke or anything like that. There's no heat. There's nothing untoward happening. So we can move on to the next stage and plug in the guitar and give it a go.